Chapter 433, Meeting. Chu Li, why must you poke your head into our business? Luo Chen was extremely angry with Chu Li. He did not wish to provoke Terminator Sect and clash with him so early. But Chu Li's obvious provocation made him incredibly frustrated. This was especially the case considering that Zhuan and Zhang Chendong were right behind him. If he, Luo Chen, backed down in front of Zhuan and Zhang Chendong, they would doubt his abilities and no longer respect him. This was something that Luo Chen definitely didn't want to see. That's right, I want to poke my head into your business. What are you going to do about it? Chu Li said forcefully. Several silver metallic balls suddenly flew out of Chu Li's spatial ring. These metallic balls were only the size of walnuts, and exquisite patterns that resembled lightning were etched into them. They faintly radiated powerful, thunderous energy. They were none other than the Terminator Profound Bombs. The Terminator Profound Bombs that Chu Li held were one size smaller than Kin Lai's, but the patterns on each of their surfaces were denser and more complicated. The thunder energy contained within them were several times more powerful as well. There were nine metallic balls in total, and the thunderous light they discharged made them look like nine bright little suns. The nine metallic balls floated around Chu Li, circling him as the thunderous energy inside of them intensified. I want to interfere with your business in metal. What are you going to do about it? Chu Li asked scornfully, taunting Luo Chen as he walked toward him step by step. His eyes brimmed with tremendous fighting spirit. There was no way that Luo Chen could back down from this. Luo Chen's cold eyes shone clearly as a long sword, the blade of which was about two fingers wide and as thin as a cicada's wing, slowly appeared from inside of his right sleeve. Luo Chen had been using his skin and flesh to nurture this long sword. Carved from a special kind of jade, it was translucent, shiny, and nearly see-through. Luo Chen prepared for combat. Oh, ah, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. It was at this moment that the tokens around Luo Chen's and Qin Lai's waists began to howl strangely. Everyone looked at the two of them. Qin Lai calmly looked at his waist and lifted up a token. He frowned and said, It's the Xia family. Luo Chen also lifted up his token and looked in a certain direction, his eyes and face cold. Brother Wu, Juan suddenly interrupted, lowering his voice. This is not the right place to fight them to the death. Let us take care of the other troubles first, shall we? Let's deal with Xia Yuan first, Zhang Chendong also advised. They seemed to hold a grudge against Xia Yuan. And the moment that Luo Chen realized that the Xi family was nearby, murder shone from his eyes. After a moment of consideration, Luo Chen's blade-like eyes stared intensely at Qin Lai before he suddenly moved in the direction of the Xi family, saying, I'll let you go this time, Qin Lai. I know that the tombstone is once more in your possession. I also know that you're the one playing dirty tricks from the shadows. You're letting me go? Qin Lai shook his head with a strange chuckle. I can't wait for you to act right now. Chu Li also chuckled. Same here. Brother Luo. Juan exclaimed. Just as he was about to give in to their taunts and turn to fight them, Luo Chen forcefully suppressed the anger in his heart and left the area as quick as lightning. Zhuan and the others followed closely behind him as they left like the wind, vanishing from sight as quickly as they had arrived. They were gone in an instant. Once they left, In Lai said, Thank you, Brother Chu. Chu Li waved his hands. He actually appeared rather disappointed that he did not get to fight Luo Chen. Let us continue on our way. There's no need to bother with them, Amen. There's no need for us to fight Luo Chen and the others. This is actually better for us. He Wei let out a sigh of relief and said, we cannot waste too much time here. Both Ren Peng and Song Tinu's conditions are extremely dire. It would be best for us to find a black voodoo cult Yi as soon as possible. Let's go. Chu Li exclaimed in a low tone. And just like that, their group and Luo Chen's group went their separate ways. Qin Lai carried Song Tinu on his back once more and followed Chu Li and the others. He continued to madly dash in the direction in which the black voodoo cult martial practitioners were gathered. If it weren't for Chu Li, Luo Chen would never have let you go. This Chu Li may be somewhat arrogant and imposing but he is a person that one can befriend. Song Tin gently said, lying against Qin Lai's shoulders. Has your true soul reformed yet? It will soon, Qin Lai answered casually. The third stage of heavenly thunder eradication, thunder lightning soul refinement, required its practitioner to continuously temper their true soul by blasting it with thunder and lightning. The true soul initially wouldn't be able to endure the thunder and lightning and would constantly shatter. Qin Lai's true soul would slowly get used to the thunder and lightning during this period, shattering and reforming repeatedly. Once it was finally able to endure the onslaught, he could gradually enter the more pleasant stage in which he would actually temper, nurture, and strengthen his true soul. Yet another day passed. You out. The black voodoo cult tokens around Qin Lai's and Chu Li's waist submit shocking, shrill howls at the same time. Song Tinu and Ren Peng, having both been poisoned by the voodoo toxin, covered their ears and simultaneously cried out in pain. The rate at which the black tendrils deepened their eyes spread grew a bit faster. Found them. Chu Li exclaimed in excitement. Qin Lai's eyes also became filled with a harsh light. Over there. Chu Li pointed in a specific direction. Their group rushed in that direction as quickly as possible. An hour later, three black voodoo cult martial practitioners led by Yu Feng suddenly appeared before Qin Lai's group. Although partially obscured by his bamboo hat, Yu Feng's eyes were icy cold. He was just about to send out the order to slaughter the illegitimate black voodoo cult token holders, but then suddenly discovered that, instead of Qin Lai, Chu Li was the one howling madly and charging toward them. Chu Li. It's Terminator Sex Chu Li. Yu Feng screamed, quickly changing his mind ordering, retreat. We must return to the young master. We are no match for him. The three black voodoo cult martial practitioners were very familiar with how difficult it was to deal with Chu Li. They quickly turned around, 
trying to escape even faster than they had arrived. Fuck you. If I let you escape, I'll write my name upside down from here on out. Three walnut-sized Terminator profound bombs flew toward Yu Feng and his group like silver bolts of lightning, their speed nearly imperceptible. At the same time, bright stars appeared from within Chu Li's silver rope. Powerful star energy discharged from every pore of Chu Li's body as he flashed before Qin Lai's eyes like he was riding on starlight. Rumble. 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 Three destructive explosions resounded from the direction that Yu Feng and his group fled. The explosive power of the thunderous energy seemed to rend the sky itself, destabilizing even the thick barriers isolating the secret realm. Chaotic. Distorted. Explosions continuously erupted in three different directions. Dragons made of lightning swam through the air, writhing in three different directions like living, sentient creatures. Qin Lai narrowed his eyes as he sensed the explosions of the three Terminator profound bombs. Surprise leaped to his face. The explosions of Chu Li's Terminator profound bombs are immense and not scattered. It's so strange that such a powerful explosion can be focused entirely on the target. Every lightning bolt and massive wave of thunder seems to lock on to the target's location as if possessing minds of their own, Song Tin said in surprise as she examined the scene with her senses as well. These explosions. All the thunder and lightning, everything instantly hones in on their target. How frightening. It's as if these Terminator profound bombs possess rudimentary intelligence of their own, knowing which target to hunt down and kill. Qin Lai was also shocked and scared by that revelation. He walked forward in an attempt to get a closer look at the power of the Terminator profound bombs. He wanted to see just how terrifying and miraculous Terminator sex Godly thunder was. It's better if you don't go. The shockwaves will continue for some time, and you will be affected if you go now. Yi Wei raised her hands to stop Qin Lai, casually smiling. She said, relax. Those three black voodoo cult fellows should not be able to escape Chu Li's onslaught. Oh. Qin Lai obeyed her words and stopped. He could not see Chu Li's battle, but he could hear his angry roars. Fuck you. How dare you poison someone from Terminator sect. If I don't fucking kill all of you fucking black voodoo cult bitches, my name ain't Chu Li. Do you know how to do anything other than use voodoo toxin? Come on, fight me. Show me what you got. What? We're done already. You die this quickly? You trash. Get up. In the area filled with thunderous rumbling and intense, chaotic waves of energy, Chu Li's angry roars resounded every so often. Soon enough, Chu Li stopped shouting. It was obvious that he had killed the three black voodoo cult martial practitioners. Hey y'all. Come and take a look. There are still three voodoo insects alive. Holy shit, their masters are already dead but these voodoo insects are still alive. They sure are tenacious. Chu Li shouted, making a big fuss. Voodoo insects. Qin Lai frowned and rushed over, 